Hey guys, how's it going? Reeve here, and I'm just going to be bringing you another short little video on how you can kill dust devils in the Catacombs of Karend using Ice Burst or Barrage. So, first of all, for my gear setup, I usually do these whenever I'm on a task, or they're also actually quite good magic XP, and they do give pretty decent rewards. So for the first thing, I take a Slayer Helmet, a Occult Necklace, Mystic's Top, and Bottom. I take Infinity Boots, and then I also have my Ring Gloves, because they are actually better magic stats than the Mystics. I have my Ancient Staff, a Mage Cape for this instance is my Zamar Cape, you can bring a Zara one, or Guthix if you want, it doesn't really matter. And then I have my honorable blessing just to help out with prayer a little bit more. Then I have my book of darkness and a serious ring. You can obviously swap this out for whatever you want. You don't have to spend the money on a serious ring if you don't want to, but it certainly does help. Next thing for my inventory, now you're going to be praying pretty much all the time down here because you don't want to get hit by them. So you're just going to pray melee all the time. So you just most of your inventory is going to be prayer pots or super restores because they're actually cheaper right now. However, I do bring a little bit of food because um forgetful sometimes and as soon as i go down i forget to turn my prayer on so bring a little bit of food with you if you want the monk robes are for increased power bonus if you want if your prayer level actually isn't that high or if it's below 60 um i would go with monk robes but it's entirely up to yourself the next thing i would bring because you need to aggro the dust devils i bring in avas and the lowest knives that i could actually have which is the bronze knives so i just use the avas basically so i don't lose that many knives and they're only bronze knives so it doesn't really matter that anyway and then i also have a royal seed pod just to get out because i just like to always head back to the stronghold because it's so close to pretty much everything then i have a teleport to house because i'll be getting there by using somebody else's house teleport because my house doesn't have it at the moment as long as that house you can hop to world 330 if you want as long as that house has a current teleport you're completely fine if you don't or if you can't find somebody who has a current teleport or if you haven't got it unlocked you can just take the boat and you can get the straight the Zaya there and then run up towards it and just go down the entrance and then for my runes I have a rune pouch you don't necessarily need a rune pouch but it is extremely handy and saves you a lot of space in your inventory so once you've got your inventory set up and your gear set up and you're good to go the first thing that I decide to do is because my house isn't ready yet I just take a teleport to house you'll see how awful my house is right now I don't even want to talk about it you leave the portal and because somebody has graciously helped me with this video I will be using their house. Thankfully, they have a teleport straight to Crown and straight outside it. So you just want to go in. As I said, you can do this on World 330 if you want. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter. You just use the teleport menu, the portal nexus, and there should be an option for Crown Castle. Click it, and it will take you directly outside um, the catacombs. Okay, so now that we're actually in the catacombs, I'll just open the map and show you where you have to go. So you want to head east towards Moss Jans, down south, just into this little room. I think there actually might be some more Moss Jans here east again and down in towards dust devils these two rooms you can use pretty much whatever one you want but i think i just prefer this one because it has more dust devils in it so i will run there now and just show you how to get there pretty quickly it's really not that long once you're actually in the catacombs itself so once you're down pass the moss chance yeah there is moss chance in this room as well so once you're down head east and then you'll see the first lot of dust devils once you're down here what you want to do is these will not be aggressive to you so don't worry about um, the migraine or anything like that there's somebody already taken this spot so i'm gonna have to hop worlds okay so once you finally find a world that is actually free because this spot is quite busy because it's good mage xp as well what you want to do is go to your setup equip your avas and also make sure your auto retaliate is off equip your avas and your knives and you literally just go around and auto attack every single one to pull the aggro from them all they will all aggro you make sure you turn on prey for melee and that is why i brought two food because i always forget to do so at the very start yeah so once you end up pulling them all you can use whatever l shape circle that you want or sorry l shape thing that you want it doesn't necessarily matter but once you've done that you have to swap in and out of these squares between one game tick so that they aggro on you on the same spot and you'll see that once they all start to stack on each other they also make a ridiculously annoying noise and then once they're all stacked up onto this one square all you have to do is make sure that your spell either barrage or burst is on your uh spell option all you do is literally click auto retaliate and that's it and that is genuinely it that's all you have to do so every time how you set them up places you can use whatever sort of l slash corner shape that you want it doesn't necessarily matter i've just marked these two so i remember which ones and um, you can use various spots over there but yeah that is genuinely it they'll start to respawn um all once and once you've done that you just keep rinse and repeat 
um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to see more of this because i am actually currently leveling my magic from 71 to 94 anyway so if you want to see more of this i stream over on uh Reeve uk on twitch if you'd like to see more of it and more in depth feel free to pop by and ask me any questions that you may have thanks very much for watching i hope you appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one